Okay, this is video number five of the Taro Hexacopter uh, build log. In this video, I'm doing the I'm mounting the motors, and I will be also mounting the the ESCs to the uh, craft. Um, lot lot to talk about. I did this first one as a test, and it took a long time and a lot of work to do it. A lot of assembling and, and disassembling, and checking and fitting, and and trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. One of the uh, first things is the motor comes with one of these little mounts right here and you know it's it's one of the ways you're supposed to mount the motor you, you mount you screw the mount onto the motor and then this this mount mounts to the uh the carbon fiber board but it doesn't have to be that way and, and in this case it didn't work the motor has four holes in the bottom of it and the two opposing holes two sets of opposing holes and they're they're at different um lengths so it's, it's kind of an oddball size. And, and the reason for that is to give you many different mounting operations. But if you mount the motor to the bottom of this mount and then this to there, I would have had this to the uh, carbon fiber mounting bracket. I would have had to drill extra holes and there wasn't a lot of room in the carbon fiber to get any more holes drilled in there. And uh, it's just not what I want to do. So what I went ahead and did was I found some uh, pan head screws that I had because the screws that came with the motor are for countersink into this uh, mounting bracket and it wouldn't have worked so and I just went ahead and uh, counter or uh, mounted the two screws that lined up only two holes lined up mounted them right to the uh, board and I checked for fit and it, it fit perfectly and then I had to level it also during this whole time I'm trying to figure out how my ESC is going to go so normally the ESC, I'll actually shorten these wires. You know, a lot of times you, you, you see them mounted like this with the writing up. Well, if you look at this ESC, there's a, a big capacitor on the bottom. And if it mounts, it, it won't mount flat and level. It kind of mounts tilted, and I didn't want to do that. So I figure I'll mount it upside down where it mounts a little bit better. Possibly bring my control wire through with a control wire extension. Although I, I can't be 100% certain I'm going to be able to get it through there because there's a screw that goes all the way through the end of this tube and I can't remove it. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it all the way through or not. Either way, we'll see. So what I'm going to do is mount the ESCs probably upside down like this. I'll have just enough wire left over here to hook up my bullet connectors and get this hooked up. And then I'll go ahead and I'll bring my power cables or my motor leads around into the ESC. Everything should be just fine. Um, looks like looks like it's going to be okay. The um, last thing I had to do was level, and this actually turned out to be a lot harder than I thought. I put a level on the craft and got it good and level, and then I put a level on here and and kept tweaking with it until I got it all good and level. And it took a long time, but I, I did it. Um, that's, that's, it is what it is. Pretty simple forward, just uh, straightforward. Just took a long time to get it done, this first one. Now that I know what I'm doing, I've got all my motors screwed down to my brackets, and I'm ready to go to town and just put the, the remaining five motors on. Then I'll have to get into a bunch of soldering with my bullet connectors and mount the ESCs after that. So let's get to it. <clears throat> Okay, that went a lot faster than I expected. I have all six motors and their mounts mounted on the craft and leveled. These little orange and blue washers you see here, those are um, vibration dampeners. So don't you, you don't want to forget to put those in. Also, don't forget to use your Loctite. Uh, very important. We're trying to make this stuff as 
as permanent as possible. You don't want anything vibrating and turning, uh, coming loose on us. So next step is uh, soldering on bullet connectors and cutting wires and getting all the rest of my connectors soldered up so I can fit my ESCs. Okay, so we got it all finished here. Um, when I pulled the wires back, the control wires from the ESCs back through the arms, first one went perfect and then the rest of them were a real pain in the ass, but I was able to get them all through. And I remembered to number them because once I put this mid-span deck on here, I won't be, it'll be a little bit harder to tell which one's coming from where. So the ESCs are mounted. Control wires are pulled through. The ESCs are uh, hooked up to the, from the battery lead and then back into the motor. I've still got to put the uh, little tops on, the hubs on the motor, so I can put my props on. I've got the little mid-span deck here. I'm ready for electronic components and to finish this thing up, start programming it. <laughs> 